Well, look what's just turned up, everyone. The FTX Super Forza GT17 scale. Let's get this thing out of the box and take a look. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Probably the controller and some bits. And most importantly, this absolute beauty. This is all that you get in the box. It's pretty much all ready to run. You just need some AA batteries to go in the controller. We've got some soft and some hard springs. It's already fitted with medium ones. We've got a 14 tooth pinion. I think there's a 12 in it already. We've got some XT90s and a light bucket to go on the back. So what do you guys think of the uh, looks of this? I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Let us know in the comments below. Right, let's see what we've got. To start with, we've got a brushless motor. That's a 4274, 2000 kV. A Hobbywing ESC, 150 amps, that's 6S an 18 kilogram steering servo and a four kilogram handbrake servo like you get on an armor infraction. Two battery trays, some 6061 aluminum shock towers and brace, some nice big ball shocks and some pivot ball suspension, a chassis mounted cooling fan and CBDs, some belted intermediate tires and ESP to keep the thing facing the right way. We've got three differentials and an integrated handbrake. We've got a four millimeter aluminum chassis. And check out these diffusers. The battery tray is 50 millimeters by about 150 millimeters. I can easily fit my 6S Corali battery in here and that's 50 millimeters tall. So now we can see working the mechanical rear brake. And that works on the third channel on the controller. The controller's got everything you need on it. Dual rates, servo reversing, trims, your button for your handbrake. Feels pretty good too. Not bad for an RTR. Steering servo seems a little bit slow, but we'll just have to see how it goes. The rest of the stuff we've got in the box, we've got some XT90 connectors, just in case you need to change some of your existing batteries, a 14 tooth pinion, we'll try that out in the next video on the speed runs, see how much of a difference that makes. A light bucket to put an LED on the back, some soft and some hard springs, and it's already fitted with medium ones. We've got the manual, tells you how to set it up, and it's got all the part codes for when you break it. Right, well I'm gonna go through this car, make sure everything's nice and tight, charge some packs up and take for a rip. Join us in part two to see how we get on. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.